Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video. Uh, it's going to be about updating CN tools to the new version. So there have been some uh, sort of major changes, but not in terms of like functionality. There has been some added functionality, but uh, it, the change is more about the structure of the library and um, um, it's just going to change some things, how we, how we do things. Uh, it's more focused on using the environment uh, variables over and over rather than, you know, separate scripts having uh, their, own, uh, their own environment variables. So uh, we're just going to go through the process of updating and then uh, at the end uh, changing some of the scripts and uh, the environment file to uh, account for these uh, new structures um, yeah and uh, just make sure that uh, the the scripts that we were using so far uh, still work uh, which they do just uh, they just call uh, like variables from uh, uh, more uniformly now m mostly from the environment uh, uh, in the environment file so um, Here's the upgrade page and the major functionality added uh, in this update is the offline uh, CN tools mode. So uh, with this, you can um, never really expose your cold keys, uh, both, uh, both the pool cold keys or any payment signing keys uh, that you uh, use just for uh, transactions. Uh, so the workflow is uh, here uh, so you can do all the stuff that relates to uh, signing transactions um, or even rotating uh, cast keys so some pool operations that include the cool called the uh, pool keys and um, some uh, general transaction um, methods that include signing the transaction with your uh, signing uh, keys so you can do the, all of that on offline and then just uh, transfer the things you need uh, online and submit. So for example, uh, a transaction, you know, you can sign it offline and then um, uh, just transfer it to an online node and uh, submit it without ever uh, putting your key on, on, on an online server. So uh, yeah, you can, you can check that out, uh, uh, but for now we're just going to update the uh, CN tools. Uh, so let's get started with that. So I'm gonna take this block of code and get to my server where I want to do the upgrade. And I'm just gonna run that. And the prerequisite I'm just gonna run as Pseudo. So um, enter my pseudo password and um, yeah, now it's uh, just gonna run and install everything it needs. So just give it some time. There we go, <clears throat> and um, already here it's telling us to edit the environment, C node, guild live view, topology updater, uh, topology config files as required. So let's go through that next. I'm gonna clear this and go to C node home, go to scripts. So, um, Anything that you had before has been backed up with the update. Uh, I should have mentioned that before probably, uh, but yeah, nothing to worry about. Uh, you're not going to lose anything by updating. If you uh, need to look at the files from before, they're not going to be deleted. They're going to be backed up. So let's, uh, let's ch take a look at the uh, environment file. Um, 
should say it's not writable because uh, because it's owned by root. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm going to uh, own the entire C node folder by this uh, node user that's gonna be using it, uh, so that I don't have to worry about uh, file ownership. So sudo ch own and I want to do it recursively. I want to give the um, the ownership to to the node user, node node, and which folder C node. Okay. Uh, now let's go to C node and scripts, and let's look at the environment file. Uh, so here's the stuff that you might want to change. Um, notably, it's the C node port to change it to whatever you're using. I'm actually using 6000 for this relay, so I'm not going to change anything here. Uh, if you need to overwrite any of these uh, defaults, uh, like this uh, Cardano CLI binary path or uh, your C node home folder, if, it, if you configured it differently, or configuration or sockets or anything like that, then you can override it here and uh, that's it, you know, you don't have to worry about it. It's gonna be used pretty much everywhere in CM tools. So um, you can edit that stuff here. Uh, I don't need to edit anything here. Uh, as I said, like the port is fine. So that's the more, most important thing. And now we can go to cnode.sh and see what's going on here. So here uh, there are two default variables that you can change, which is the pull directory and the topology file that you want to use. So um, they're, they're commented out now. So if you want to um, change some of this, you would uncomment it and uh, change the, the file path. Uh, if you don't set them, then this part of the code uh, is going to set them which is basically saying like if topology if the variable is not set then um, set topology to be the default uh, topology json uh, and the same for the pool directory and so it's saying test but uh, you know unless this pool test actually exists on your server then it's not going to do anything um, so again i don't need to really change anything here um, in terms of uh, guild live view i also don't think there's any changes needed uh, maybe you want to rename it uh, or something like that but uh, it should work fine and then uh, the topology updater uh, is probably something i mean it's definitely what you want to change if unless you want to use the old version but uh, the old version is now renamed so uh, so the old version is uh, one of these backups and if you want to use that then you have to edit the name in cron tab that's running it every one hour uh, to use that version but if you want to use the new version then what you will want to do is uh, just, so here, Sino topology, if you want to update the topology file that it's gonna write to. So if you want to, for example, keep this topology JSON to be the default and write to a new file, you can specify a file name here. And we're gonna leave it uh, on topology. Um, if you change the C node valency, if you have more than uh, one node running, uh, max peers so this is the stuff that you uh, that you used in the fetch call so the the update to this uh, topology update script is that you don't need to enter the, the the fetch call yourself it's already there and it's going to use the variables that are set uh, up here so you can just specify the, the max peer peers uh, number here um, 15 is okay for this relay then you want to set the custom peers so right now it's set to none but if you want to set some custom peers and you do of course you want to include your block producer if nothing else then you just um, 
you know the format is the same so uh, you could uh, it, the example is here uh, so the combination is as before IP address uh, a colon a port and then optional colon balance valency if, if there is um, uh, more than one node running on that instance and then to add another one uh, it's a vertical line and then again you know IP address blah 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 and uh, port and balancy so you want to change that and save that uh, um, once you do the changes you want and uh, I think that's pretty much it uh, oh yeah it, th there's uh, so the files um, the config JSON is uh, going to be rewritten by the default so if you have Grafana monitoring set up and you know you're, you want to um, query this uh, servers uh, this nodes um, Prometheus for your Grafana setup then you'll need to uh, change the Prometheus to actually uh, listen uh, not just on your the default local host but uh, to any other server uh, that's trying to um, get get the information so um, with that um, pretty sure that's it now uh, we did C node we did config uh, topology so topology JSON is going to be the uh, the default one uh, it's going to be up updated once uh, the topology update runs but if you want you know you can change it now and restart the node but there, there's no need for it really um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it we can uh, I don't have a tmux running uh, so we can go to the guild live view just to check it out um, And there you go, the new uh, Guild Live View version 1.7 is running. Um, we can do a peer analysis like before and everything else. Uh, so that's it, that's the update and uh, the files that you can change and uh, should change and how to change them. So I hope this is uh, helpful if, if you were stuck on this uh, update um it might be a little bit scary um but it's actually pretty simple just run the prerequisite.sh and uh, get familiar with the structure the, the new structure that's slightly changed but uh, also better so there you go uh, good luck and uh, see you next time i think uh, tomorrow i'll do a video on uh, leader logs uh, that uh, Andrew Westberg uh, figured out. Uh, I'm really not sure who, who the contributors were. I'm pretty sure Andrew is like the main one. Uh, I know there has been a lot of uh, testers from the community um, and, you know, a few other people contributing, but I really don't know uh, who exactly and how much. So what I know is that Andrew is uh, uh, kind of the man behind it. So really congratulations to him for figuring it out uh and uh, yeah I'll, I'll probably do a video on on how to get your uh, block assignments for the epoch um, tomorrow so until then uh, good luck and see you